Uh, hi there, I'm Vice Admiral Michael Noonan. Uh, I'm the Chief of the Royal Australian Navy. I was in Timor from mid-December 1999 through until about mid-February 2000. Uh, everything happened pretty quickly uh, as, it, as it transpired. Uh, I was given about 10 days notice and uh, found myself deployed to East Timor. It was the first time that I was deployed onto a, into a land mission. Main objectives of Interfet, clearly to bring uh, stability uh, back to uh, Timor-Leste and, uh, and really provide security around what was a very uncertain time in terms of the, the environment. Uh, I, was, I was based in Dili myself and found myself um, in a, uh, a, a conflicting situation of what was um, a moderately uncertain threat environment, uh, but, but also about reassuring uh, the people of East Timor that uh, prosperity for the future was good. And uh, there was a real sense of um, uh, bonding between the Australians that were there and the East Timorese people. And certainly, you know, some of the, the greatest memories that I've got is young people, young children uh, coming up to me in the middle of the day or the middle of the night and just thanking us for being there. Ah, uh, yeah, the Timor Chief of Navy, good friend of mine. Uh, we talk about a lot of things, both in terms of our professional navies and, uh, and how we can work together to, uh, to, to build capability in the region. Uh, but also looking at uh, what, um, what we do into the future in terms of building the size of our navies. The, uh, the Pacific Maritime Security Program is a really exciting program for Australia and the regional countries, and we're delighted that Timor-Leste is a part of that program. Over the coming years, we will give 21 patrol boats uh, to 14 countries and, and Timor-Leste. Uh, Timor-Leste will receive two of the Guardian-class patrol boats in 2023 and that will mark a great opportunity for our navies to work even closer together. Yeah, I, I first was there in 1999, 2000, uh, and I returned to Timor-Leste in 2010. And the transformation that, that I saw in Dili, particularly in that 10-year period, was, was remarkable. Uh, it was a vibrant, busy city. Uh, infrastructure was well-developed. Uh, there was great accommodation. Uh, supermarkets had popped up and certainly what I saw was a very, very vibrant community of young people who could see a future and the prosperity of, uh, of Timor-Leste continues to grow in that spirit. I think the future for Timor-Leste is, is very, very positive. Uh, those people-to-people -people relationships that were built between the uh, Timor-Leste people and the Australians, particularly the Australian Defence Force, back in 99, 2000, uh, have continued to not only endure but grow through that regular people-to-people -people contact that we have. Uh, I think the future for their Defence Force is a very strong one, a very bright one. Uh, they're very keen to develop their, their own capabilities and, and really assert their independence as a, as a free democratic country. Uh, if I had one message for the, uh, the, the people of Timor-Leste, I'd say, uh, first of all, uh, it's great to be able to be part of the ongoing celebration uh, of, the, of, the, of the prosperity of your country. Uh, and I'd like to uh, convey my wishes for the future, best wishes for the future, for your uh, continued happiness, prosperity and good health.